So hello everyone, welcome to Ripley Presents. On behalf of First Congregational Church, we are glad that you are here with us here in person and that those of you at home can join us through our live stream of this wonderful concert that we have tonight that we are really grateful. It's taken a number of, a couple of years to finally um, pull this off due to the pandemic and we are I'm very grateful to have Luke Blackburn and his project Eco Music musicians with him uh, this evening. And um, we're grateful that you are, are here with us as well. As a, as a congregation, this is particularly important that we have pulled um, the project Eco Music into our space because of our commitment to eco justice and care for creation. And one of the things that it has encouraged us to do um, by having Project Eco Music here is that on our land now, we are in the midst of working on hosting a monarch way station uh, with, with milkweed and flowers. And we've begun that and we will continue to work on that over a couple of months. So come on, butterflies. Yes, we're, we're grateful for the impetus for this. Um, and I just do wanna mention, I'm not sure if you can see this at home, but um, especially after the concert, you're welcome to get up and check out these, um, these beautiful insects and butterflies that are on the wall. They are from our uh, lo from Lotus Pond Painting class, is a class that we host here, wonderful art class in Winchester, and from our Stepping Stones, our church school kids that also decorated the butterflies. So we thank them for participating in this as well. Um, and I want to thank uh, Jane Ring Frank, our minister for uh, music and the arts, for helping to, to for really making making this happen. And we just want to remind you that as we are emerging from the pandemic and entering into a, um, as we this year comes to a close, we will be opening up to a new year of monthly concerts and um, and events here in Ripley known as Ripley Presents, and we encourage you to keep connected uh, via our website or our email so that you can know what great things are happening around. So I'll leave it at that and turn it over to Luke. Welcome. Yes, thank you so much for having me. It's really such an honor to be here. And um, like I will said, it's been quite a process getting through this, you know, almost two years to the date this concert was supposed to happen in here. Yeah, literally almost two whole years. And so it's just so exciting for it to finally come together. Um, and I'm just so grateful for everyone and everything. Um, so I just want to tell you a little bit about the concert tonight. So um, like it was said, um, the church is building a Monarch way station. Not only is it, you know, a first for the church, but actually it's Winchester's first Monarch reserve. So it is a designated space for milkweed because of a lot of deforestation and stuff that is taking place you know, around America. And if you don't know this, monarchs actually uh, migrate from kind of upper North America and Canada all the way down to Mexico every single year. And because of you know, new buildings and agriculture and all that stuff, a lot of that has gone away. So it's really amazing that the First Congregational Church has come together to help in this migration. It's really, really amazing. Um, so a little bit about the, this concert specifically. So every piece um, is about insects in some way. Um, I commissioned a number of different composers. Every piece on the program is a completely different style, just like every insect is very different. So I'm sure you can like think in your head about every different bug you've ever seen and be like, wow, none of them are really the same. We have butterflies, we have dung beetles, we have lightning bugs. I mean, bugs literally light up. I mean, it's pretty cool. There. So there's just so many different kinds. And so that's what I wanted to capture in this concert. And you, so you will hear just so many different styles of music. And as a composer, and you know, this is my first concert I've put together, I really wanted to think about what about music I wanted to bring forward and show. And you know, when I think about music and myself, you know, I always want every concert to make you think about something. I want you to feel something every time. Some, you might feel happy and beautiful, scared. You might hate what you hear. You might love what you hear. And I want you to embrace all of those feelings. 
And it kind of connects similarly to the insects. Like, everyone loves a monarch, right? But when you have an ant in your kitchen, you might be annoyed, right? So think about all of those things. When you're listening to the sounds, really think about the different insects. Um, I will actually have the insect that the piece is based on on the screen, so you can actually visualize what the bug actually is as it is being played. So I hope you enjoy the concert. Thank you again so much for being here and for being on the live stream. I really am so grateful for you to be here. Um, I'm going to hand the microphone off to our first composer of the evening, Peter Skoma. Hello, my name is Peter. I'm a composer from Long Island, New York. Uh, thank you for being here. and. Um, Thank you to the director of Project Eco Music, Luke, and of course the ensemble and the church. Um, me and Luke actually met on a trip um, in Alaska. We were kayak partners for a program called Composing in the Wilderness. And uh, so I was really excited when he invited me to participate in this concert. Um, I naturally wanted to choose the dragonfly. It happens to be the one tattoo I have on my arm. And this is a uh, symbol, a family symbol for my grandfather. So this piece is dedicated to him. And um, it has two movements. The first movement is, uh, takes place with the dragonfly underwater before it flies. And then the second movement is when it takes flight. So uh, thank you very much again, and enjoy.
So unfortunately, the next two composers could not be here tonight. So I'm just going to say something very brief about um, each of the pieces um, before they're played. So the next piece is called Entomophagy, which is eating insects. Oh yeah, so a nice fun topic here. Um, and it's actually very interesting because it's something that's not a part of American culture. We, if you wanted to go eat some insects, where would you go? Very, it's not around here. Um, but it's actually very environmentally friendly. Um, they actually say that one pound of crickets uses about one gallon of water, whereas one pound of beef uses 400 gallons of water. So imagine the, the huge difference, and it's about the same amount of protein. So think about that wild um, difference, right? I know, but it's like, but a burger is so much better, right? You now know until you try. So I talked to Emily, who the composer is of this next piece, and she told me that her goal in writing this piece was that she wanted to kind of write music that embraced American culture's uncomfortability with eating insects. And so there's gonna be a number of things that you hear that might make you uncomfortable, but that's okay. Again, embrace it and think about kind of what it means. So enjoy.
It's always very important to me that when you come to a concert that I put together that you hear at least one thing you've never heard before. <laughs> Raise your hand if you've ever heard a cello play styrofoam before. <laughs> Two people, okay, well I guess I have to try harder next time. <laughs> uh, the next piece is for a flute and harp duet written by Joseph Soa, who unfortunately couldn't be here this evening. Um, and he, when I asked him to write a piece about insects, he was like, I really love monarchs. And I was like, that's perfect because this whole thing is happening because of monarchs. And so next piece is kind of a lot about their journey from Northern America um, and Canada down to Mexico. Um, the, unfortunately, the program notes didn't end up on the sheet, but if you have them, if you want to scan the QR code, you'll see the program note and you'll see that each of the four movements is kind of based on a poem that has to do with flight. So without further ado,
Now it's my turn to have a piece. And so when I started doing this project and I was telling all the other composers to pick an insect to write about, I could not pick one because I really like bugs. And so I broke my own rule about picking an insect and wrote about a bunch of different ones. So my piece, as you'll see in the program, has a bunch of small movements, each one about a different insect. So what I tried to do when I was writing this piece, I'm a very visual kind of composer, so anytime I write anything, I'm picturing something in my mind, almost kind of like writing music to a movie. So what I did is I kind of studied each insect, and I just basically gave them kind of a personality or something to do. Um, so in, I'll kind of explain each movement briefly. So like the first movement is also about monarchs, and you'll hear it's very busy, there's a lot of stuff happening, and I was visualizing literally this picture that you see, that's what I was picturing, all of the millions of monarchs in, in Mexico when they migrate there, and just how spectacular that would be. The second movement is the Hercules beetle, which is the world's largest beetle. It's about this big. It's huge. And it has this giant horn, you'll see a picture, and they're super clumpy, like they like walk like this, and when they fly, they like run into trees because they're so heavy, um, so they're super awkward. Uh, the third one is called a water boatman, which is a very small water bug. Um, and they kind of glide along the surface. Um, let's see, the fourth one is the ant and a grasshopper. Um, and I kind of based that one on Aesop's fable, the ant and the grasshopper, if you know that one. And essentially what happens in the story is that the entire time, the ants are trying to do work and kind of prepare for winter, and the grasshopper is playing around and really annoying the ants. So I kind of wrote a little piece to that. Uh, the next one is the dung beetle, because why not? Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I kind of pictured, you know, if you've ever seen a video of a dung beetle, they like roll this ball of dung backwards, literally with their hind legs. They can't even see where they're going. And it's super awkward, and I like imagined myself if I was a dung beetle, I don't know. I was like listening to like jazz at the time, and so you'll hear in the music, it literally says in the score, awkward jazz. So that's a lot of fun. Uh, the next movement is Mosquitoes, um, which will be played by our lovely violinist Lilith here. Um, and then Fireflies, because they're just so cool. I'm picturing the night sky, and they're kind of flickering um, with their lights. And then the last movement has elements of every single bug put together. So you'll hear kind of the little themes that were happening. And then the very end of the movement, they are improvising each of the bug um, of the insect themes at random. So it's kind of more of like the real life of the bugs just kind of minding their own business. So I really hope you enjoy um, this last piece on the program. So thank you so much for coming tonight. As you leave, if you would like, there are actually small packets of milkweed seeds that you can take home so that your environmental journey doesn't start and stop here. You can always take something home with you and you can put them in your yard, in your garden, however you want, and you can yourself can take part in kind of saving the monarchs. So thank you so much for joining and enjoy the piece.
Thank you. 